This week our Learning Pride Assembly is about respect. Your character is rewarded on a termly basis via bonuses. You all deserve a character education. These bonuses help to celebrate the best things about your character. On an annual basis, an ever-increasing number of you have achieved pride. This is now developing even further to consider learning pride. And that's what today's assembly is about. In terms of learning pride, there are going to be five sections. We're going to have participate, respect, independence, dedicate and engage. And you can see that there are a range of different things which go with each of those sections. On a weekly basis, you are going to have an assembly about learning pride. This is to help you to become better learners and to understand how to talk about your learning as well. Pride card has been changed and it will reflect what you have seen in today's assembly. So you still have got all of the bits for signing parts off. We've still got all of those things around being part of the school community, being parts of school clubs. But now what we want to add in are these stickers and rosettes, which will allow you to show that you have participated, you've been respectful of other people, shown independence in your learning, but you have been dedicated, which is going to link to those uh, previous subject sign-offs, and that you have engaged actively in your learning. When we visit your classrooms this week, there are three main things that we're looking for to reward respect, and they are kindness, enthusiasm, and working with enthusiasm. What we're going to be focusing on today is kindness. There is a myriad of things the world needs right now and kindness is one of them. Kindness is a word that we hear all of the time. We all value it and try to be kind ourselves. But is kindness something that can only be practiced by superheroes or can us mere mortals learn to be kinder people? With a little push and extra effort, we can become kinder, more understanding and considerate humans ourselves. Here are five of the traits of the most genuine people I've known and how you can adapt your attitude to enhance those traits. Trait one, their care is genuine. You can't fake a caring heart. Kind people's feelings of caring for others and wishing to ease their pain is genuine. When they listen, reply or suggest, the words come from the heart, not from the brain. So how can I adopt this trait? Put yourself in others' shoes. Try to imagine how you would feel if you were subject to those feelings and bad circumstances. Putting ourselves in others' shoes helps us empathise more and thus care more. Trait 2. They don't judge. Even when they disagree with what you propose, kind people will never judge a person who's pouring his or her heart out to them. Think of the one person with which you would share your deepest and darkest secrets. Is he or she a judgmental person who would lecture you from a patronising place? Never. Kind people listen because they want to listen. And how can we adopt this trait? Count to ten every time you feel the urge to reply with a harsh judgmental response to a friend who is sharing their burdens with you. Trait three. They never hate. A kind person finds ways to let go of old grudges against people who did them wrong. This means they find a way to forget the hurt and let go of the feeling so they can move on to thinking about other things in their lives. And how can you drop this trait? Forget about the haters. Stop holding old grudges against old enemies. Just walk away, let them be, and then let yourself be. Trait four, when they are around, they are fully committed. Think of the kindest people you know in your life. They may not be there for you all of the time, but when they are there, they're zoning completely into you. You will feel like you were the only person in the world. They will listen and never interrupt you. They will look you in the eye and concentrate on every word you say. After all, they are here for you 
and they are here to listen. And how to adopt this trait. Try harder to pay more attention to people you talk to. Look them in the eye. Don't play with your phone and never look at your watch. Engage and share compassion and hold your breath when you feel the urge to interrupt. Trait five, they always offer a helping hand. You won't even have to ask. Think a bit, were you once in a tough spot when you needed a helping hand and all of a sudden someone reached out to help without you even asking? We've already established that kind people are unique in their feeling and consideration for others. They sense your trouble and they offer help before you ask for it. It's their trademark to always be there for friends when in need. And how can you adopt this trait? Whenever you can, offer help. Don't hesitate. Don't think that the person may not deserve your effort. It's not about people, it's about your willpower to help people, even when you expect nothing in return. The more you do good to people, the more your life flourishes. Unexpected kindness is the most powerful, least costly and most underrated agent of human change. Quite simply, a kind heart is a rare gem to find. In a cold, mean world, a sweet, kindly, thoughtful soul is a catch. Share the kindness and you will receive it back. After all, what goes around comes around. So when we visit your classrooms this week, we will be looking for you and rewarding you for participating. We need you to show us that you have listened actively to this assembly by actively listening to your teacher and actively listening to each other. This is not the only week this year where we will be looking at participation. There will be other opportunities for you to achieve your participating reward. Next week, there will be a respect assembly. And as the weeks go on, we will go through each of the terms one by one so that you have a really, really good understanding of what learning pride is. As we expect you to be able to tell us what learning pride is and how you can achieve it. If you have any questions, just ask your form teacher or any member of SLT. But other than that, have a great week. <laughs>